yeah, your black cloud that you live under makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they called me the Rain Man. Picture of Scandinavia. Just the gnomes living under a black cloud, <laughs> feeling miserable. Uh, it's so dark and cold. I hate it's, my it's, job. It's blimey all right today, is it? <laughs> Welcome to episode 64 of the Number One Crude Mistakes podcast with Glenn from Number One Projects, Katie from Crude Little Fish, and Hovar from Behind the Mistakes. Woo! Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you went at that like a box around the corner there, KJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying my, my best to force the feeling of having a cold out of my body uh, and try to uh, imagine myself as uh, young and healthy and full of energy, and that will last for like five minutes maybe perhaps or maybe just yeah. i was gonna oh, ask no, it's, how's uh, that it's... going for you <laughs> now it's gone yeah I'm, I'm struggling because we've got a visual on you <laughs> thanks no, that wasn't is. very nice i mean i, could, I can't turn off the camera he's can... looking a bit tired he's growing his beard back so he's a bit stubbly he does look a little bit like a vagrant today <laughs> yes it is very much hobo feeling uh <laughs> <laughs> with this like a week's worth of stubble, I think something like itchy? that. No, not this. No, it's it's rather nice actually. Uh, this length, I think, but it looks terrible, I, especially uh, together with the mustache that I chose to keep this year uh, because I didn't want to look like a boy. Uh, but now I just look like <laughs> like someone who likes boys. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so it's it's bad. <laughs> oh, it's a, oh, it's a very at trendy. Least you don't drive a van. <laughs> yes. It's a very trendy look at the moment to have a mustache. All the kids have got them. All the older kids who've got who've got facial hair have got them anyway. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, so I, let's, I, let's hope it grows up until Christmas at least. That's that's the question though. I, I've never rocked just. A mustache, and then the question is, would you look like Magnum PI or would you look like someone else? I mean, uh... <laughs> most people don't look like like Magnum PI. Uh, no, so, that's that's, yeah. that's what I thought. So it's a, uh, I don't like the odds. I'm not taking a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fancying my chances of looking like uh, Magnum PI, but I think I quite fancy a mustache at one point. But I want one that comes down. Is it handlebar mustache? Yeah. Yeah, one of those ones. The more like a uh, Hulk Hogan style. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah but then, then the question is, all right, you have a bit of an overhang, that's okay, and then it's, it's a little bit further down, then you have the handlebars, still okay. But then you have those who just they keep them growing and they continue under the the chin and they like make a weird angle because of your uh, chin, obviously. And yeah. That's too far. It's like the uh, Amish beard where they just they just move it down to the <laughs> underside, like yeah, clinging Nick, on Nick for their life. It's never good. <laughs> Let's just go back to Hulk Hogan a second. His real name's Terry, isn't it? That really, he could never have been a wrestler called Terry, could he? <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that, and I, I know too little about wrestling. <laughs> that, that is my knowledge done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping out. <laughs> uh, yeah, wrestling is a fantastic physical soap opera thing, but who has time to follow that? It's, it's too much a... drama. Yeah. Speaking of time, how's YouTube doing this week? I mean, time-wise or the next weeks? I'm, I'm feeling myself in a constant panic. I'm starting to being short breath, uh, yeah, slightly panicking. I thought you were leading up to asking us out on a date then for a minute. <laughs> Got any free maybe time I am. boys? <laughs> maybe I am, yeah. He needs well, a break from it I all. mean, if, if this is going to be the year, I'm running out of time. <laughs> it's like, oh, New Year's kiss and everything. It's <laughs> it seems like you've been up to uh, a lot. Do you want to went? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that is wise. Um, 
a controllable controlled ventilation is probably preferred. It's like pop. <laughs> it's it's like popping a balloon, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it could be. <laughs> yeah. It's either that squeaking, and that is like, or it's a bang. Yeah. What sort of ventilation are we talking about here? Right. <laughs> I thought your standard were just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we're going with the balloon analogy. <laughs> Well, to look on the bright side, though, I'm almost finished with all my Christmas gifts. I I had a list, and then, of course, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Week, Monday, Black November happened, and I got almost everything. Uh, now, over to the Postal Service, so I'm just sitting here waiting to receive, um, which is nice. Uh, takes a bit of the pressure off. And then, of course, uh, to compensate for that, I've just piled on more Christmas projects, basically. So, of course. But, I mean, Christmas is so far away. So, <laughs> so how about you? How's the Christmas gifts uh, mania going along? Any for good me, uh, deals? Yeah. For Glad. me, it's easy. And um, I can't tell you too much about it until next year, <laughs> until after Christmas. But I only have to buy for Michelle. And I've got two presents. And then Michelle so, fixes the rest. Yes. Yes, and exactly. I've two, <laughs> and I've got two presents to post off to two other people, and that is me done pretty much. Yeah. That sounds nice. Yeah. Um, sounds nice. So far, I've, yeah, I bought some presents for the kids, but one for myself. Yeah. So I, I finished my, my own uh, present shopping first, actually. Do we... I don't want to spoil the surprise for you, but what did you get yourself? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I finally uh, beat the bullet. Is that what you say? Oh, I finally uh, uh, actually, uh, yeah, I can't uh, think of a good way to say it. Is <laughs> do uh, say it now? It sounds really horrible. No, I bought a turbo it's a plane. Butt plug. Oh, sorry, a turbo plane. plane. For the angle grinder? Yes, for the angle grinder, oh, for cool. shaping wood. Nice. Yeah, so I've been uh, thinking about it for a lot of years, and uh, I actually saw one uh, at Maker Central as well. All right, do, do like thing. do like this. Because that's the last time we'll see them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take a yes. screenshot. Ten that's fingers. the last time we'll see all ten. <laughs> <laughs> might be, might be, who knows? <laughs> and have you got it already? Have you given it nope, to yourself, nope. or have you got to wait till Christmas? Uh, I, I will decide on that when I get it. Uh, and that's up to the postal service, so it might take a uh, while. Okay. Yeah, but I decided to this year. I'm gonna this way. Gonna treat myself to because you need to buy one present for yourself. Yeah. But now I'm I'm questioning if I need to spend as much money on everyone else's gifts as well to even it out. I think that's probably reasonable. Huh. How much no. is a turbo plane? Uh, about hundred seventy quid, thereabout. Is this is the is this the whole hang, angle grinder as well as the? Nope, that's no? just the. That's just the, the bit on the end. Yes. Bloody hell. Yes, it is not cheap. Crikey! I hope we've got some projects lined up for that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I feel that this one is more for just trying trying it out because it looks yeah. like fun. It going might, to town on it. Yeah. It might end up being your lathe, KJ. In the same respect, mine is is if I want to do a quick project, I just go to the lathe because it's enjoyable, it's quick, and pretty painless. And so it's the same yeah. case for you with your turbo plane. Yeah, the, the 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 thing I'm I'm considering is how much do I need to, where can I be doing it because in the workshop i feel it's going to be chips everywhere yeah and if i go outside i need to build myself some kind of cage yeah to not spray the entire neighborhood uh, so yeah well at the side of your driveway there's a little forest isn't there yeah <laughs> just, keep going I just go that. and sculpt all of those trees that would be fantastic well there are a lot of fallen trees there so maybe make it to a sculpture yard that would be lovely going wouldn't to it town. I mean, now I have a battery driven angle grinder as well so yeah, yeah. might be might be. 
Who knows? And that'd be great. Nice. Be interesting to watch that develop over next year, won't it, Hevel? <laughs> yeah, we we <laughs> meet. We even might have to have a side survey <laughs> at some point. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, um, knowing me, I will probably not uh, fit it into my plans until like a year from now or something like that. Because, yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm bad at at doing stuff quickly. Fair enough. Should we get to making then, KJ? What have you done any making this past week? Uh, yeah, I actually have. Um, Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, I um, on the the robot hand uh, side. I put it all together, oh, looked wow. at it, thought, "Hmm, this looks kind of weird." Took it apart and putting it back together, and took it apart <laughs> and back together. <laughs> and at the moment, I'm at the stage that I will need to take it apart to fix some other stuff. Uh, yes, it's but it <laughs> looks kind of like a hand. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't wait to see this one. Actually, I'm looking forward to this. One. I can I can send you some. Uh, progress picture after this awesome. um yeah I, i'll send it to the cmo group as well when this episode comes out yeah that's a shameless plug for anyone to join that <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see it like anyone cares um and what did I they... care. yeah yeah i know you do uh, you're so nice a little bit too much at times <laughs> yes <laughs> that's your problem um and i also uh finally Upgraded the uh, the Christmas tree stand with some grippers for the for the screws. Yeah, those came out really nice. Yeah, they came out much better than I thought they would. Because this is something I've been thinking about more or less since I made the stand that I should have something at the ends, something that can move freely and something to to grip into the to the wood of the Christmas tree. And I've gone through several iterations in my head. And then they just realized that this is probably the easiest way to go, just to take some angle iron, no, some square tubing and cut it so it looks more like a C-channel. And then, well done, a small piece of tube that fits over the screw and, and grind in some, some, some teeth to it. And it, it looked way better than it has any right to. Yeah, no, so I saw it on Instagram. I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah, hopefully yeah. it won't fall apart. When do you get the trees tried out? Uh, glancing at the calendar. <laughs> January. <Two weeks>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, they're I they're cheaper then. <laughs> I think it's the 14th we're planning to go and get the tree. Uh, get them from your dad, don't you? Yes, yes. Nice. The proper way is going to the forest and c- shopping it down. <laughs> it would be too expensive, I feel, to, to buy a, a huge tree. Or finding a tree that's three and a half meters tall. Oh my gosh. I think when I worked in the garden centers, I think the biggest one we used to sell was about two meters. And I think you were looking at over a hundred quid for that tree. Yeah. It's a lot of money for a dead tree, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> Unless you're a woodworker, you wouldn't bat an eye. That's a steal, that is. <laughs> yeah. What can you do with a Christmas tree? If you, <gasps> that if you would have been an amazing January project, wouldn't it? All right, we all now have some dying trees in our living rooms. Now that's a challenge. Make something of it. <laughs> yeah, we had an oak tree this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. happens to be have you seen my beautiful teak tree huh? yeah. <laughs> rigging the game a bit yeah. <laughs> and instead of the tip it's the it's the stump the really beefy one <laughs> oh, that's and look what I found here just laying around a turbo plane <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence <laughs> nice nice yeah, but other than that, uh, the only thing we have done more or less is, is decorating the house uh, for, for Christmas. Uh, the first first steps of decorating the house, that is putting up all the lights so it's not actually so dark and miserable. <laughs> you know, that big dark cloud that we all live under. Yeah. <laughs> the one that we all can't wait to get back to in January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't it funny when all the Christmas decorations come down in the house, the house feels massive, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm sure yeah. It's nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it's more uh, clean, I would say. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, uncluttered, I think is the word I would say. Yeah. More. yeah. <laughs> So that's me. What's what have you been up to, Glenn? My um, getting up to story starts last Monday on the when we were had when we were doing the podcast and we had uh, Andy on. Thanks for coming on, Andy. By the way, yeah, definitely. Um, we were talking about my YouTube video, and at that point, it had reached two hundred views. And I said, I'm not really happy. I could just do with it doing a couple more thousand. And then a little Christmas miracle happened. And it did another 8,400, and it's still climbing. (laughs) Crikey. So um, I thought I'll jump straight back on this bandwagon and uh, do another little lathe video, give it a Christmas theme. (laughs) A bit ambiguous, I know, with a funny dipper and a whistle, but it seemed to work the first time round. And uh, yeah, that one's done 50 views. (laughs) Uh, So, So I could just do with that one. Doing a few for a few more thousand views and then you know. <laughs> <laughs> but nice, I mean that is that your best performing video in recent times? That's the third best video I've done so far since I started. Nice. The last the other one was thirteen thousand, the aluminium and the acrylic uh, strum stick I made did thirteen thousand. Ah, yeah. That stuff. And that was a while ago though. Yeah, that was well over a year ago now. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And it's also got me one step to the magic 1,000. Yeah, I was only 48 to go. <laughs> I, I'm still betting on it will happen before Christmas. I mean, before New Year's, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a close race. I wouldn't race. take yeah. that bet. I got to 500 in um, January this year. So I would like to get to a thousand by January next year. That would that would be the wish. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just so I'm actually already working on another video right now as we speak. Another another little Christmassy lathe one, and then I'll probably call it a day for that project and maybe get back on the uh, the musical instrument that I want to make yeah. or the noise ah, instrument. Yeah, had... <laughs> yeah, I mean, double down on the lathe bit, show a bit of skin, and then yeah, <laughs> might might do the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Topless turning could be your second chance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I actually did. <laughs> I was thinking about the video today, and I was going to include a little bit of uh, sexy time in it, but you'll have to wait for the uh, <laughs> have to wait for the video to come out and see whether I go through with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> I have too much time on my hands at work to think. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I also um, last weekend did a little bit of work with Steve. But, yeah. um, so on his, in, his old, in his old house, he built a studio there 15 or so years ago, a music studio in the garden. And um, as it turns out, the deck they built around it is all rotten. And we've torn the deck, well, he's torn the deck up. And um, it's untreated wood laying on bare soil. So I'm actually surprised it's lasted this long. And then the corner of the building has one big window and then a big patio door going off at 90 degrees from each other and a corner post in the centre. And the corner post was resting on soil with nothing Mm. concrete underneath it at all. Sounds perfect. (laughs) Yeah, which which has also (laughs) rotted off, (laughs) strangely enough. Um, the building has dropped only five mil, but it stops the door opening smoothly. So um, that was the first job on the list before I rebuild the deck. Hopefully next weekend was to uh, chop a little bit out the uh, bottom of the building, out of that corner post, jack it all up, and uh, spliced a bit of uh, a new post in the bottom and rested it on concrete this time. How long did you say it had, had been like that? It, well, he, he, it was built about 15 years ago. That's, I mean, that's, that's not bad to, to last that long. <laughs> Considering how it was built, no, it's not. But I mean, it wasn't. He had it built for him by professionals. It wasn't a cheap building. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's uh, there's no no comeback because the uh, the person who built it is no longer with us. So <laughs> ah, so it's uh, off, it's uh, it will it will do after <laughs> until after my retirement, kind of. Well, sadly, he retired himself. So <laughs> yeah, but still, you don't you don't really have to care about them. <laughs> no, I don't have to do a job better than if I'm not alive. Then it's yeah, <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have that on my tombstone. <laughs> no <Yeah>. refunds. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was my week making. What about you, H? Uh, where should I start? Um, oh, video. Yeah, video. That's a good place. Um, I didn't. Well, I finished making the week before, but yeah, I got the video out uh, for the premiere of Moana 2. Uh, and then, of course, I took the two warrior princesses to the cinemas. And of course, they uh, they had one of their own fish hooks with them to the cinema. So, so of course, when you came there, there was a line of kids and everybody like, oh, look, they, what, look what they have. Look what they have. And I like, fuck yeah, you can't buy that at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Best that were, ever. <laughs> yeah, and then of course, as I hoped, they had like a like a cardboard cutout where you could go and line yourself up uh, amongst the cast and so on. So of course, I propped them up there and got some really good pictures as well. So that, that's a win. Nice. So that's one in the box. Making wise, the most making I've done, I think, is changing the battery in the the music box I made for last Christmas. <laughs> So it's operating again. Uh, other than that, it's been video work. And uh, I, I spent lunch every spare minute where the rest of the family has been out of the house. I've rigged uh, the studio here uh, with all the Christmas stuffs for the last couple of weeks. So I've been recording myself uh, singing, playing guitar, playing bass, playing the organ. So. I'm getting to that point where I pretty sure I'm going to pull off the, the hell quarter Christmas song enough that I've started to leak some <laughs> snippets here and there. <laughs> so you, so. you leaked a, a lovely, uh, a lovely clip on the, the WhatsApp group again for the CMOs. That was really good fun to see. Yeah. 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 You looked really professional. That yeah. Time. It did look professional. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh it's going Where straight did... down from there. <laughs> Where did you stand the mic up and everything to make it look like you're in a dark recording studio? Oh, it's just in the corner back here. Um, let's see. Tilt the camera. There it is. Ah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, we we nice. did that for the music video we did at my last workplace. We got <laughs> As a Christmas gift, we got these really nice woolen blankets. And of course, we were rigging a corner to do some recording in the office, and I'm like, we need some backing, and it was a nice like pattern on that blanket. I'm like, all right, we just staple this up to the wall, and that worked brilliantly. So I thought, why not do it again if it worked last time? So I, I got a similar uh, <laughs> a pattern. So I just threw it up on the wall, and it worked perfectly. And it it gives you a bit of dampening as well because there is a bit of echo in this room. So. Um, I'm just going to apologize right now. If you can hear a noise on the mic, it's not me breathing. It's the dog snoring. <laughs> it's really cute, actually. I guess I can sure. hear, you, you can hear a faint, uh, yeah, typically a dog sleeping <laughs> sound. So just leave with it. Yeah. <laughs> and other making stuff. I was going to say I've done a, a crude mistake, but. It's not a mistake rather than being inadequate, I think. Um, I've, I've tried to... <laughs> Glad you said it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it. It's weird feeling on that notion, but yeah, it's, it's been dominant this week. Um, for the last couple of years, I, I've, I've had a design for an advent candlelight holder. And now I just... Fuck it, I'm going to do it. Uh, I, I have the design in CAD, and I like, I'm going to make the toolpath for the CNC. I have the oak. 
and I'm just going to have the CNC run for a few hours while I, I have home office. So that was the plan. So it's just making the tool paths. And I spent two entire evenings getting failed simulation after failed simulation. And I've tried different things and I can't get it to work. And of course, I can adjust geometry of the foot of the, the candlelight holder, but then it doesn't look as good as the other one I made. And it's like, I don't want to compromise with that, but I can't really get it to make it. So the only thing I can do is if I cut up the oak and glue it back together so it's wider, then I can cut it in one piece. But then you're going to have a lot of unused scrap material of relatively expensive oak. So I don't want to go there either. And of course, first... Uh, day of advent is already passed so it now it's a project for next year because i can't fucking be bothered <laughs> <laughs> at least you can put it to the back of your mind now can't you one less yes. thing to do <laughs> one less thing to do but on a positive note uh, i got a message today that i've got some filament waiting for me uh, at the post office so now I got everything I need to finish up the the die hard christmas project so that seems to be coming along nicely i have everything now and i've designed a box so unless the 3d printer quits on me then we're good to go have you got space in the box to upgrade the speaker that came with the with the thing with the yeah. recorder yeah i did decide it so it's it's not too big and i, I printed the, the john mclean picture to fit inside uh, so uh and of course I was I have filaments I could have made the box uh, and then spray paint it but I don't want to spray paint outside in the cold and then you have to sand and probably going to fuck it up so I just why not order gray filament and just wait 2 days and you can print <laughs> it in that color and not do that anything so so that's the plan yeah. <laughs> And then of course when I uploaded all the audio clips to that sound card and that worked brilliantly. So I have an idea for another project, which I can't really tell you the details about, but I already sent you a question there, Glenn, if you're willing to do some voiceover oh, work yes. again. So I'll, I'll send you a list of things I need said, and then uh, <laughs> I'll have to wait until the project is done. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any issues with that. I'm in. <laughs> And now I thought maybe I should get KJ in on it as well. Maybe sure. I should split the dialogue. Yeah. Am I your wife again? or? Well, we'll, we'll have to see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm envisioning that was a brilliant us... video, though. I really like yeah. that one. Yeah. I can't, yeah. can't uh, top that. I, I was seeing us as uh, consciences on your shoulder. <laughs> Guess who's the good cop and the bad cop for... What do you say? The angel or the <laughs> devil? Yeah, that... The devil or the worst devil? I was going to say two, two devils. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you both did, did really nice videos the last week. And I feel, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling inadequate. <laughs> well, because I'm, I'm at a point where I, I don't really know what what I'm doing with my my Life. the video problem. No, that's as well. <laughs> no, but m m sorry. I David. thought you said wife there for a second, but yeah, I said life. All right, makes sense. I but hope yeah. so because <laughs> on the on the wife part, I'm all set. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, on the life part, it's pretty nice as well. But yeah. uh, but the video, I don't really know. But I'm. I, it feels like I'm just filming stuff and hoping to. To find a piece of thread to pull on anywhere, but it yeah. can it can just be as simple as finding a piece of music which inspires you and directs the edit as well. Though can't it? Yeah, you don't always have to have something in mind. Yeah, I, I, it might be that I have a, a pretty, I have some kind of idea for that could be an intro to it, and maybe then I. Uh, I can see what the rest of the video should be, but I need the the hand finish for doing that intro. Yeah. So, so then it's just trying to film stuff. 
hopefully it can be useful. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it feels weird. It's always but... um, you can always film stuff and not use it, can't you? Yes, so, yes, yeah. that's it. it uh, that's something uh, a lot of uh, uh, smaller YouTube channels should <laughs> should think about. <laughs> yeah. I feel <laughs> my, just uh, because you nope. filmed it doesn't mean you have to use it. <laughs> no. Yep. I mean, my, uh, if, it, if it's on tape, it's going up. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> The original cut of my Scrapwood build-off video had me doing an impression of Tim on it on one stage. <laughs> Which and dis- we didn't get to see that? No, I cut it. <laughs> now I feel cheated. Yeah. I, might, I might send it you. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. I mean, I, I think you can tell, at least you can tell on your own videos, when you are really inspired Inspired, not just in the building of the project, but you also have a, a clear idea of how you want the narrative for the video to be. It makes everything much more easier in filming and editing is, well, as close to joy that you can get doing editing. And of course, if you then strike lucky with the music as well for the edit, yeah. then then you're all set. So I mean, for every video where I do a build montage, I spend more time finding the music because then I know, all right, you have three minutes and 20 seconds. You need to cut everything down to. You have a beat, you have a a music to do it to, and it makes the process really easy. Um, But yeah, there is a few projects where you just like, I just want to get this done. And then you bring the footage in and like, all right, if it's going to be a video, I have to do the edit now not motivated but if i wait for three weeks it's it's never gonna happen because you're not gonna get that motivation back but um i think i've never chosen the music beforehand i upload a load of clips and then that's the, the next thing i do before i actually start cutting anything is to put music on yeah i could spend a night or two just browsing the the free music library on youtube because once I know the clip and I know what the result is going to be, and then I can just like, does this feel like a, a slow, jazzy uh, feel good, or is it an upbeat, rocky part? So I just, all right, I just select the genre and the mood, and then I just start scrolling. And then, of course, I always start by arranging the list. So I got the longest clip at the top and of course you have to scroll down because on the top there are some classical music pieces that are like 20 minutes long but it's I don't have a lot of project where classical music is fitting but once you get down to like five to three minutes that's the the sweet spot I mean any shorter than that I find it's hard to make all the video clips to shrink them down to that but I've never I've never even been uh looking at the YouTube music library because it felt like it was just all the same music that everyone used. But I really should listen to you because, I mean, both of you are more successful at this YouTube thing than I am. So <laughs> I really should be taking notes. But Yeah, and that's <laughs> alone down to the free music library of YouTube. <laughs> I think, KJ, you should just carry on doing whatever makes you happy with it. Yes, that is <laughs> probably true. Uh, probably true. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, happiness shines through, doesn't it? If you can see that someone is having fun doing it. Well, not always, but the only thing that matters is your enjoyment. Yeah, that's that too. That too. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, mean, (laughs) looking at someone having a wank, it's not inspiring, (laughs) but, I mean, he looks happy doing it. (laughs) Well, that depends what kind it is. God, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a bit early for the half bite. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it, uh, <clears throat> I, was saying, I was going to say put it back in your pants, but it felt a little too appropriate, perhaps. Huh? You're wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, going back to the editing thing, I really did not enjoy editing the Scrapwood build off video. Didn't like that one at all. And then the whistle the slide whistle just for that bit of music alone which i was really into uh, made me really enjoy the edit and it went really quick so yeah i always edit to music 
even if I'm talking, I just turn it down while I'm talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, that is something I, I hate to fiddle around with, trying to adjust the volume and finding a good beat for. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that, but it's okay. necessary at some some yeah, point. Yeah. When it comes to music, though, the, the the trick is to know when to shut up, because, of course, as a, as a prequel <laughs> comes from the it, right person, yeah. <laughs> and then it continued speaking. <laughs> <laughs> you have to know when you to ignore your instincts yeah. and carry on. Uh, as a as a build up to the the Hellcorder music video, uh, as I've I've teased on the uh, the socials, is that how hard is it to write a Christmas song? So that's the first half of the video is like how do you actually write a Christmas song? And then of course, in that process, of course, I'm I'm in my workshop and I kind of enjoyed the process, and then I started humming on Christmas songs. So of course. It's all nice when you're uh, humming away on uh, Fairy Tale of New York, but when you come back and you're going to do the edit and you have to cut it down because the video segment is too long, it's not. It's a very choppy version of the song, <laughs> and it jumps back and forth between the <laughs> the verses and the chorus, and yeah. So uh... <laughs> yeah, that can't be easy. <laughs> but so, I really, and I... Yeah. Yeah. It's an experiment sometime. It'd be really good just to send each other when we're all ready with a video. Maybe we could actually do it with the lamp along. Is to send each other Ooh. the footage and let that person edit it for them. Oh, I'm so up for that. Yeah, but you have That's to put... That's a really you have good to, idea. So if I edit your KJ, you have to put that version up on your on your channel. Yeah, so should we do a... Uh, what's it called? A rotation yeah. type thing. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, that's uh yeah. That's a done yeah. deal. Yeah. Cuz it's uh, you're oh, only going to get the footage weird. that you've not filmed and that's that's going to be weird, isn't it? I mean, one <laughs> thing is cutting it together and ah, I'm looking forward to that voiceover work. I'm going to get <laughs> I'm going to get deep down into some good whiskey for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> are we are we are we is this a deal then? Have we made a plan? I think so. Yeah. yeah. That really? sounds cool. And then the question is uh, the in the kickoff episode, we can have like a, a hat with notes. Who's editing who? We can do a. Yeah. 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 Like the, at the kickoff, it's like, all right, you're doing mine, I'm doing yours. Yep. For, yeah. Time, I, now I look forward to this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm more interested in that than the lamp. <laughs> 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 and the interesting thing is knowing it in advance while you are building and while you're filming yourself, are you then yeah. conscious like, all right, one of those two are going to edit this. All right. I might not want to bend over here because that's going to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't have the ability to actually I don't, cut around. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we should set out to damage each of those channels. No. No, no. So, we should. Yeah. Everyone should. You, know, you should just. Shouldn't... You should edit it as though you're going to do what, as you're editing one of your own videos. I think. Yeah. Do your best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, still, I, and and we should make. I mean, not purposely make life hard for the people, the person editing, uh, either. So yeah, yeah, here is a one five-hour clip of <laughs> yes. continuous work of just me. Yeah. I'm out. One stationary <laughs> camera. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, but then again, that could make it. Oh, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh. And the the question is, should we? I mean, by, just by the timestamps, you have the the chronological order of the uh, the clips. But of course, it's it's up to the editor if you want to do a like a a kill bill where you just yeah. jumble the timeline to uh, yeah do a yeah, Quentin I mean, Tarantino. Sometimes that's needed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm going to use all my t-shirts in uh, making that <laughs> lamp. <laughs> it's like I'm going to swap t-shirts in the middle of a, a clip. <laughs> like, in which case, I hope I get you. I've already got an interesting idea for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I, uh, this is the, this the is problem is one. it's if somebody edits your video and then that video then gets you far more views than you'd normally get. It's like we do my edit for the next one, please. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if that is the the path to having a lot of views and making money, then yeah, we'll pay for an editor. <laughs> and how much in your style would you do it, and how much of your own? Hmm. Yeah. And this is really interesting. We've all done mixed styles of videos. It's I don't think yeah. any of us are set really, are we? No, but we have. I mean, you have a feel for it, yeah. at least. Yeah, that's true. So, hmm. and that's interesting. that's. And I mean, KJ, you have the last three, four months. You you have been using green screens. And of course, in the raw footage, there's just a green screen there. So it's up to the editor what he wants to do with the background. So it's going to be interesting to see how one cuts together several clips. I might even just do a green screen just to see what if one of you can come up with. Don't, don't do me a green screen. The whole video will be you in front of a green screen. At the <laughs> <laughs> it's just some text. Imagine yeah. a luscious background yeah. of uh, <laughs> clear blue waters. <laughs> this is an audio video <laughs> only. <laughs> yeah, oh, I like really it. Nice. Yes. Yeah. That's nice, though. So that really us... looking forward to the yeah. first project of next year. Yeah. yeah that's uh... And to, to remind everyone that we're actually we're having a lamp along. It was. It, did you say that it was the month of January we were doing it? We we're going to start it in January. We've we not start decided. in January. When when are we going to stop it? Is it the end of January or do we start it in the middle of January and go? How long? Because last I, time we we did it too long, didn't we? Why? Or no? I hmm, hmm, yeah. I did think about that because I mean the. The first week of January, people are basically not back to work and you have some residual Christmassy stuff lingering around. So we might set a date somewhere out in February, but yeah, not too long that you don't feel the pressure of getting it done. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, still have time to figure that out. But yeah, yeah. but if we we're going to swap some media files, we need that person needs time to actually do the edit, so we can't do ed edit along as well and that sort of thing. And yeah. can't just do, a, I mean, we can't, can do yeah, pickups and that sort of thing, but the project should be done before uh, we swap yeah. the video I files. Think, I think we should run it for six weeks and our build, our build time that everybody else's should be four weeks and then give the editor two weeks to fit it in just in case they've got a busy time. Yeah. <clears throat> four weeks sounds like a lot. Hmm, I have to think about this. So how, did we, how long did we do the knife along? Was that a month or was it more? I thought it was a little bit more. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, to be fair, it was running for a set amount of weeks and then I did all the work the last week, so... <laughs> you did all your work in the first week, actually, didn't you? <laughs> well, I, I've done it even before we started. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lamps already finished. Yeah. Oh no! I made a I made a lamp. Like I, yeah. we've got time. We'll we'll announce the start date either towards the end of this month or when we first come back after Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, everyone is invited to to tag along uh, and make their own lamp, of course. Uh, I think we'll fun. do. That's the first thing you said, Glenn. Um, we should announce it an episode or two before Christmas um, yeah. so that people have time to, I mean, if you need parts uh, or, or something. Yeah. I mean, it's Christmas. The postal service takes a long time. So he's like, yeah. we start tomorrow. And then it's a, a three-week delivery time on the, the lamp fixtures you are thinking of using. Man. I, I, I forget you all, you all don't have Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, well, we, we KG, have Amazon, KG, but, but yeah. yeah, but I I try not to use it. And I already have a box of lamp parts, so I'm set. <laughs> I think I have 
everything I need for the the one the the thing I'm thinking about. Oh, but you've I already got a design. Decided. You've already got a design decided, have you? Maybe. Okay. Um, because we have an a dire need of lamp <laughs> of a lamp in one place, and that should be really fitting to make something for that. But I don't know if it's going to be that, or if I'm going to get another more brilliant idea, uh, perhaps because it's not the most fun. But I... we need lamps at some point. So. <laughs> I have two ideas for a lamp. Uh, the first one I already have parts for because I've, I've thought about doing it for a year and a half already. But then I saw a lamp on a post that was it Jimmy the rest or is it, or some of his friends? I, I'm not sure. And like. That was a neat idea. It's like a Tiffany style lamp, but it was woodworking and epoxy and wires string or whatever. And like that was a cool style. Could I do something like that? And of course I've started the to think either even if I want or not. And then but then I need a, a thicknesser. So it might be the most expensive lamp ever because I mean <laughs> the parts cost uh, two pounds. The the thicknesser is uh, six hundred pounds. So I might just be slightly cheaper for you just to fly over here and use mine. Yeah, that would be a cool take on a video. Like, yeah. and then he runs off with the parts, take the airplane over to UK yeah. airplane, and go back again. Yeah, that, that's, that's actually not a bad idea. Actually. Sneaking some boards onto Ryanair. Actually, that would be a really cool thing to uh, say. I'm just going to send this off, and then you just see it running through my thickness room, and it's and, back in your workshop. Yeah, and that that's the thing, though. Just need identical pieces of wood. <laughs> Now the problem is I'm not doing my own edit because I've done that in a few videos before when when we've been to holiday, I've just mashed all the videos I took on my phone together just to show people. Uh, and then, of course, I made the the, the Indiana Jones intro. Dun, 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 and then I have a map and that uh, the, 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 the lion that creeps among the countries and so on. And that would be cool for the video. Like, dun, 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 and then it flies over to UK and then just running it through the mill and then bye and back again. <laughs> <laughs> say, hello, say hello to the wife and kids. <laughs> you could always um, do the rafter sled thing as opposed to buying a thicknesser. Yeah. And I mean, you do have some friends in Norway with full workshops as well. Oh, bloody CNC. You don't need a thicknesser. No, I can use the CNC to flatten yeah. it. <laughs> that being said, though, I, 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 just, <laughs> oh, I saw a post here the other day and I might regret seeing it. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's Bjorn uh, from uh, interior maker B. Hagen. Um, yeah. He put out a post where he got a new laser. Was and that of what course it was? Yeah, it's the That's it's a massive. it's a it's a Myra seven or nine or something. It's the huge ass one. Um, I think it's a newer version of what Arnie have, and of course I have been drooling on those for a long time. And of course they are they're way too pricey, and I don't really need it that industrial. Your logo, but uh, but of <laughs> course I I sent him a message. Ooh, that looks nice. Who sold it to you, and what did you have to pay? And then it's like. All right, I'll ask them if they can give you a good deal. And it's like, yeah, well, I, I don't have the budget for that before <laughs> at least maybe next year. And I was like, yeah, but next year is just a couple of weeks away. <laughs> just, I'll see what I can do. And then, like, all right. <laughs> but yeah, back to, I mean, yeah, I could use in the C and I, sh I should actually use my CNC to flatten a new base plate. So if I make the part, I can use that to flatten the. Yeah, maybe I should use that as, as an excuse to do that. Yeah, that's not bad. But then again, I I do want the thicknesser, and I, I was looking if they had a, a black uh, Friday month on 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 that, but they didn't. I also checked for a metal lathe. No, no black Monday Friday deal on that one either. So I mean, all the tools I wanted never got up on sale. Of course, except that mitre saw that we talked about, but I mean. I do agree. Eight hundred dollars for something that I use twice a year. I mean, it is blue and it says Bosch on it, but yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. you got better things to spend your money on. That was a construction workers' might as well, wasn't it? You've got to be well, working every day. But I mean, I, I am a wannabe. I mean, I, I, I'm fanboying over people like Cav. It's like, ah. Uh... I'm romanticizing uh, being a tradie. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Sitting in my <laughs> office, I'm like, oh, if I just had that mitre so I could be just like Kev. <laughs> you think about him every morning uh, unloading his van and yeah. <laughs> and trying to find parking space for it and then going back and putting everything in it. And next day, getting out, hoping that his van has not been broken into. <laughs> yeah, and... I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, yeah. it seems horrible, that part. But Kev's I mean, you are romantic. That... Cash just dreamed is an off of an office job. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's the irony of it all, right? If I just could have a heated office like yeah. all the winter month and out doing construction work, and oh, I would yeah. love putting two boards together and call myself <laughs> a handyman. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, everyone has something to dream about, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you need dreams, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, if, if you run out of dreams, then that's really sad. <laughs> My daughter, when she was younger, I can remember asking her, I said, what do you want to do when, you, when you're a grown-up then? And uh, she wanted to work in a supermarket on a till. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh. wanted the bleepy, bleep, bleep. Because <laughs> I'm not like fun to her back then. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not all honoured to... Uh people in the service industry and sometimes I, I wish for that as well um, but the worst thing was my oldest she's like oh when I grow up I want to work with you dad at your place I'm like no you don't I, I don't want please no don't glorify <laughs> that no I mean we can work together but then we'll find another job and then you can be the boss and I can just be the old geezer fixing things. And she's like, okay. So so that's my <laughs> deal. plan. That's my yeah, yeah, <laughs> deal. Yeah. I, I already made her sign the papers. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm an employee now. <laughs> and you're going to get paid twice the amount of any other maintenance guy out there. <laughs> yeah. The, the best paid janitor ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, but what does he even do? Yeah. It's her father. Okay. <laughs> My kids were more like, when you die, I take over your job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because yeah. that job apparently needs doing. And so they volunteered. Uh, yeah. So that's, and on that sounds... positive note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the future yeah. is secured. Yeah. I can assure you, Lily's never wanted to work with me, for me, or do what I do. <laughs> So you're very honoured, both of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it all can change. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, my my mind just went blank <laughs> on yeah, how well, to end the podcast. Was kind of giving you a bone here with uh, on that yeah, note, and yeah. then. Uh... Yeah, and, and Glenn, my, Glenn yeah. continued talking. Sorry, <laughs> you drifted yeah, away. My so. my <laughs> brain just went total koala smooth, and I lost all ability to do anything so all right let's have a, have a good one bye a, bye <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry or... i was gonna say let's have a awkward silence to get us in the mood but all right bye <laughs> <laughs>